calling. What a coincidence. What are you doing here? Well, I could ask you the same question. I met a friend. We have friends in Chicago. Not my friend. Yours. I don't have any friends in Chicago. He's not from here. He's from Kentucky. And he says he knows you real well. Now, didn't no one ever tell you not to stick your nose where it doesn't belong? <laughs> Maybe more times than I can remember, actually. Yeah. Well, this time you might want to take it seriously, Molly. Oh, yeah, it's too late. Because I already heard the whole Sid story. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. No? Well, your buddy Officer Grady knows exactly what I'm talking about. And he told me how desperate you were to marry Lily. He said you paid him to hide the DNA evidence proving that Holden was still alive. <laughs> That's crazy. Speaking of crazy, I bet you panicked big time when Meg found out what you'd done. Yeah, she's been telling the truth all along about you, hasn't she? You can think whatever you want. You know what I think? I think that you paid that sleazeball Sharky to make everyone continue to think that Meg's in that case, yeah. You know, you can't prove any of this. Watch me. Let go! Molly, I'm telling you, you don't want to do this. Oh, yeah? Are you kidding me? I can't wait to do this. I'm warning you. If the truth comes out, it will ruin your life. My life? I think you've got that backwards. No, I don't. You can threaten me all you want, but the truth will come out. I'm telling you, Molly, that would be a big mistake. Yeah, certainly would ruin things for you, Damien, wouldn't it? And for you. Oh, I don't think so. Listen to me, Molly. When Brady told me the DNA from the crash was in Holden's, I didn't think it meant it was alive. I thought it meant he, he'd been thrown from the car as he went over the ravine, or that maybe he had died before the crash. Yeah, well, too bad for you. You were wrong on both counts. I didn't tell Lily about the DNA because I wanted to spare her the pain of false hope. What difference does it make to you, Molly? Don't you think your wife has the right to know that she married you under false pretenses? And if she does, do you know what she'll do? Leave you. And go straight back to Holden. Yeah. You know she will. And you know we'll take her right back. Which is why we both have reason for you to keep this to yourself. I am not a liar. I suspect that's not entirely true, Molly. But that's beside the point. Go to hell, Damien. And like it or not, we both have a lot to lose if the truth comes out. But you can keep that from happening. All you have to do is keep your pretty little mouth shut. Hey. Hey. I've been trying to call you. Why didn't you pick up? I was with Grady. All this time? Yeah. So what did you get out of him? Uh, it's complicated. What happened? Did he try and kiss you again? No. No, he didn't touch me. Well, that's good, because I have to tell you. Made me a little bit jealous. Does that mean you like me? I think it's a little bit more than that. So, what did he tell you? Nothing. I thought that getting him all drunk and worked up would get him to talk, but it didn't. I don't believe this. I thought we had it all nailed down. So did I. I'm really sorry. You know what? You don't have to be sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's okay. I will never forget what you did for my sister. For me. I wanted to help you. I really 